All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want us to discuss Hex and the fact that we are back on track with our uptrend. If you like this kind of quantitative technical hybrid analysis on Hex, Pulse Chain, and more, leave a thumbs up, be subscribed by the end of the video if you aren't already, and help us get to 3,000 subs. We're almost there. And let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this fact that we are back on track with the Hex price. So if you saw, my tweet yesterday, a lot of you guys are hyping it up. I said, hey, you know what? I'll just I'll just leave this here. And it's obvious, right? Like I, I retweeted or rather quote tweeted this this tweet from May 25th. And if you tap on that, you see that that was a quote tweet from a move on April 29th. And if so, that's the beginning, right? And if you look at what happened on April 29th, this was more or less a line break where you had your falling parallel channel and then not only that, it was a falling parallel channel into horizontal support, also exponential support, but hey, falling parallel channel into support, and then a nice breakout of the falling parallel channel, which if you look at this, this was at 1.7 cents, you know what happened from there. And then if we take a look at the second time this happened, it was over here. <laughs> and I said, remember last time, because once again, falling parallel channel, break the rest is history from five cents we went on to pretty much 2x and now here we are with another beautiful falling parallel channel into horizontal support and we actually broke above it now this was a 12 hour chart because i wanted to you know catch it before it actually fully fully played out luckily on the daily chart if you look at it here it has fully played out and and it looks good, right? It looks good. Where we had a break above our falling parallel channel. And I mean, could you argue that we're, we haven't actually gotten above our 21 day EMA fully? Sure. Once we get a, a daily close tomorrow, uh, June 29th, right? So about 28 hours from now or so, then we will, we will hopefully close above 7.7 because we're decently above it now. And then if we're able to hold it, then I would I would say, you know what, this is now support. Um, this actually could have just been a fake out here, this break beneath the 21 day uh, EMA, similar to this over here, but this is more of a, this is a kind of a trickier fake out because we had actual full candles closed beneath it. So that's one of the bullish patterns that I see here in the charts. The fact that, again, we have our falling parallel channel into horizontal support. And then not only that, we actually broke the parallel channel to the upside and from there, I think things look good. Can we correct back a little before moving up? Sure. Could these wicks have been the bottom? I've been saying, yeah, these wicks could have been the bottom. So don't expect um, things to fall. Don't don't be deterministic and say this has to go to this level. But rather, be prepared for any scenario. So that's just one bullish angle I wanted to touch on. Thank you guys for the support on that tweet. You guys seem to like these bullish tweets. And something else that I wanted to touch on that. I caught a couple days ago. This is probably a good time to bring it up. And I'll I'll show you guys relative to other similar moves. So what the hell am I talking about? It's this. So what I have laid out here is a set of bullish divergences, mainly hidden bullish divergences, with this one exception, this yellow one being an actual just normal bullish divergence. So this is your RSI, right? This is your 13 daily RSI. Most people use 14, I think, but hey, we'll, we'll use 13 for now because we're different. So what exactly is a hidden bullish divergence? Well, it occurs on the bottoms of price, right? So minima. What distinguishes a hidden bullish from just a normal bullish divergence is uh, sort of the, um, the direction of the divergence. So let's just start with this normal yellow divergence. It's simply you have lower, uh, lower lows, right? Lower lows, yet higher lows. On your price, or excuse me. So you have lower lows in your price, higher lows in your RSI. That's a bullish divergence. Pretty simple. A hidden bullish divergence is when you have the opposite. So you have lower lows on your RSI, but higher lows on your price. And I, I like to think about this almost as buoyancy in physics, where you've cooled down more right so let's just take this first one for example 
So from this level to this level, RSI had cooled down more to this more relative to this point over here, but price was higher. So it's kind of like you have this almost like you're pulling something down beneath the water, letting it get ready to bounce back up due to buoyancy. That's probably a really terrible analogy, but all you really have to understand is that when you have divergence on the minima in this way, it's generally a bullish. And that's why this is called a hidden bullish divergence because it gives you more room to grow on the RSI at a higher levels. So it, I hope you understand why that's bullish. So it's played out a bunch of times and you can, you can pick and choose, right? Like if we move this, for example, to say like over here, then it's actually still valid, right? It's still valid, but there's discretion to these things as with most analyses. So yeah, we've had plenty of them hidden bullish specifically. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six major ones that I can point out and I'm pointing them out because we are at one now. And so what's happened after previous bullish, uh, hidden bullish divergences, well, you, you know what happened over here. We had a nice 40, 50 X or so, almost a 50 X. And then after, um, after this one over here, it wasn't as, as big of a move, but nonetheless, it was about a two X move. After this hidden bullish divergence over here, we had a, what is that? Like a six point, almost a seven X move more or less seven X move. And, and again, we just see them play out again and again and again, nothing too major or oh, like a two X move. This one is kind of similar to this one. If you think about it, right. And then what else did we see? This one, a nice five X move. And here we have another one potentially playing out where this low of 6.6 .6 pennies, has cooled down more than the low we had over here of about 3.6 pennies. So we have more room to move up on the RSI relative to when we were over here, right? Relative to before we had a 3x. So we're cooled down more than we were at the point before we had a 3x. And we are 2x higher. Hope that makes sense. And so things look good. Things look good, right? We've seen 50x, 2x, 7x, 2x, 5x. These are, these aren't, these aren't small numbers, right? Well, some of these are right, but some of these moves like 50 X, seven X, four X. I mean, it's hard to find these, um, especially in crypto right now. So just wanted to point out all of these hidden bullish divergences we see on the chart. Obviously if you zoom in, zoom out, you can find them on different time scales relative to different points to the description, to the discussion of the analyst, man, I'm having trouble talking today, but yeah, let me know what you guys think on these hidden bullish divergences. I think uh, if you zoom out to the three day on CoinTrader Pro, there are some nice ones there too. So let me know if you think it's gonna play out similarly to these moves and if so, which move do you think is gonna play out similar to? I'm pretty bullish, if you can tell by now. Line break, check. Hidden bullish, check. Very, very close to all time highs, only about like well, like a 20% move away, things are looking good. Also, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on yesterday's video. You guys seemed to love the fact that we did a regression rainbow on Ether to provide us some sort of guidance into where Hex could be going. And yeah, like I said, I, I don't know if I was ready for these charts when I pulled them up, to be honest, because some pretty, pretty high projections. If you missed yesterday's video, check it out. But this more or less says, that it's possible to reach one to two dollars this year, possible to reach fifteen to thirty dollars next year per hex. So these numbers, even though they can seem out there, they can seem like a stretch, they can seem like a reach. Keep in mind we've done almost two thousand X, and so another hundred X from here would be what, like eight dollars. So what's another hundred X at this point, right? Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and follow on Twitter. You guys have been actually crushing it, so thank you for that. We're at 957. I think we gained like 50 or plus followers in a day. You guys are freaking awesome. Send it to 1,000, let's freaking go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover for the video. Go ahead and check out lookinthehex.com, updated every single day, real-time custom charts, so you can keep up to date with Hex on these metrics that no one else is really using. And yeah, let me know what your favorite 
metric is down below. I'd love to hear what your favorite chart is. My personal one is the regression rainbow. But yeah, things are looking good. That's really all I have to say in this video. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you're new. Definitely. It's been 10 minutes. What are you doing? Subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of hybrid analysis on Hex, Pulse Chain, and more. I'll be dropping some videos on hopefully Pulse Chain soon, right? As we get new info, more developments soon. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.